Economic Freedom Fighters Memorandum to the Ugandan Embassy, Tuesday, 4 April 2023. The Economic Freedom Fighters is a radical and militant economic emancipation movement that brings together revolutionary, fearless, radical and militant activists, workers' movements, non-governmental organizations, community-based organizations and lobby groups under the umbrella of pursuing the struggle for economic emancipation. The EFF, as a protest movement with an internationalist outlook, and an unwavering commitment to the marginalized and oppressed groups of people vehemently opposes patriarchy, sexism, homophobia, and any other discriminatory practices that promote the oppression of any individual. The EFF is against the oppression of any individual based on their gender, gender expression, or sexual orientation, meaning that we are against patriarchy, sexism, and homophobia in all its manifestations. The EFF is also against tribalism and religious and cultural intolerance. We oppose any cultural or religious practices that promote the oppression of any individual, especially groups that have been historically oppressed by such practices. Understanding this, the economic freedom fighters, therefore, renders concern and rejection over the inhuman anti-homosexuality bill that was passed by the Ugandan, Ugandan parliament on the 21st of March 2023. The anti-homosexuality bill will see the outlawing of same-sex relationships and the criminalization of persons who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, which is LGBTQI plus community. Moreover, this bill further emboldens the stigma against the LGBTQI plus community and persons, which results in vicious crimes against innocent people and the victimization of family members or persons who assimilate into the LGBTQI community in Uganda. Africa has no place for religious fundamentalism as well as the pre preservation of colonial laws that seek to control the sex lives of black people and instill feelings of hatred and intolerance over sexual orientation. The historical evidence of the lives our people have lived pays homage to the diverse lifestyles our people lived pre-colonization. It is thus a false argument to claim African tradition or culture to preserve the hatred of fellow Africans based on their gender performance and sexual orientation. Life imprisonment and death penalties should never be the adequate responses to people's interpersonal lives. To this effect, the Economic Freedom Fighters request that the following be attended to by President Yoweri Museveni and the Parliament of Uganda with the agency it deserves. The Economic Freedom Fighters urges President Museveni to not sign the irrational anti-homosexuality bill which was adopted by the Ugandan Parliament on the 21st of March 2023. The Ugandan parliament must embark on an educational tour that will see the elected leaders educated on matters pertaining to gender and sexuality, with a historical context that will highlight the colonial tenets of how homophobia and misogyny are rooted in racism and capitalism. That the parliament of Uganda and President Museveni upholds all international and African statutes that seek to protect the human rights of LGBTQI plus persons that Uganda has in the past supported through being signatories. The EFF further calls for an end to harmful rhetoric against persons identified as LGBTQI in Uganda and across the continent. Harmful rhetoric results in intolerance and physical violence being purported against innocent individuals. Persons associated to the LGBTQI community face tremendous stigma as a result of their relation thereof. Freedoms of association should never be threatened, especially on the basis of homophobic hatred. The government of Uganda must aggressively engage in public awareness and communication strategies, as well as on training interventions aimed at or directed towards positively changing norms which declare LGBTQI plus sexual preferences as, as abnormal. The parliament of Uganda ought to further amend all relevant ex existing legislation to include harsher minimum sentences for corrective rapes, specifically, or crimes committed with hatred as motivation in general. When homophobia is the basis for hatred and intolerance, it is only a matter of time for women and children to suffer the same consequences at the hands of patriarchal violence. The Parliament of Uganda should ensure 
that legislation pertaining to the alteration of sex description be formulated without delay to accommodate transgender persons. Moreover, harsh repercussions should be eminent for discriminatory practices against the LGBTQI and their associates in the workplace, communities, schools, and other public spaces. Lastly, the Parliament of Uganda ought to reject all forms of state-sanctioned abuse of basic human rights and the blatant disregard of dignity and the right to life as the basic tenet of all human beings, including the LGBTQI community. In essence, the EFF pleads with the government of Uganda to condemn and disassociate itself with anti-human rights practices and sentiments that endanger our lives, our people's lives. Numerous Ugandans who identify as LGBTQI+, and have in the past publicly fought for the realization of basic human rights of the LGBTQI plus community in Uganda and in the diaspora, are forced to no longer call Uganda their home. That is a fundamental tragedy that the government of Uganda should reject with the contempt it deserves. If there's one place anyone should be who they are with no shame, that place is called home. Uganda, like the rest of the continent, is home to all Africans and in particular Ugandans. The right to self-identify as LGBTQI plus and freely associate with other persons should be a norm in society. The EFF encourages the people of Uganda and President Museveni to reject all historical abominations like colonization by rejecting to hate an African on the basis of their sexual orientation or gender. The above-mentioned demands are made in honor of Brian Waswa and the over seven homosexual men and transgender women who were slain in homophobic attacks in October 2019. This after demanding members of the LGBTQI plus community facing physical violence, harassment, and prejudice in getting jobs, renting houses, or seeking medical care. We therefore hand over this memorandum to the High Commissioner